Good, Good afternoon, afternoon world. world. Welcome to another vlog. Today we're going to be talking about our experience with Kubo Modular, a prefabricated building company from the city of Manila. We are in the process of planning to build our prefabricated home, a modular home on the island where we live. And if you are new here, we'll just do a very quick recap. We are a British family who moved to the Philippines over three years ago. We actually got locked down here at the start of the pandemic and decided to stay. We moved our life out here to the island of Shargao and we've just found it a really beautiful place to live. We also adopted a beautiful street dog who we named Poppy Love and she has well and truly become part of our family. It makes us feel really at home here. Since our time living here on the island, we've really fallen in love with it and we decided that this is where we want to build our house. The footage you're seeing right now is from the Kubo Modular factory we visited just a few weeks ago in the city of Manila. The concept is that they build your home in the warehouse. So they've got no problem with weather, they've got no problem with environment. They can just build it, engineer it, get it perfect inside their factory, put it all together like Lego, get it everything working in one module and then they can break it down into pieces, put it into a truck and deliver it to your building site. So this was actually our first time going and standing in one of their permanent models, like one of their models that, that you can just buy off plan, like straight from the website called the Sarangani. The last time we visited the Kubo factory, they were actually still in the process of building this test suite. Yeah, we've got here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you said you were running at 10.30, so we yeah. were going to <laughs> it takes a while sometimes to get the yeah. traction that's what you want to do. So we actually hadn't stepped foot in one before, so this was the first time actually walking in and being inside one of their fully made homes. This is also where Kubo had set up our meeting place where we were going to sit down and talk with the architect about the design for our very own house. So what you're seeing right now is actually our custom model. So we've spent the last few months talking with the team about what we want out of our final house, which is a lot bigger than what the Kubo team normally make. So this is a 111 square metre house. It's a different shape and a different orientation from any of their current models. So it was basically a completely new thing for them and for us, and we didn't really know how it was all going to turn out. That was the purpose of the meeting. We are using all of the same materials that they actually use in their other models. So everything that we were sitting on, everything that we were surrounded by is engineered bamboo, steel, stone coating. The materials that they are kind of putting together for us are kind of state in the art in the Philippines that they're sustainable as well, which was one of the reasons why we wanted to use this company instead of just going down the concrete and rebar route, which is normally what people do when they build a house in the Philippines. The architect was running through some of the problems that we might face and some of the costs that we might come across along the way and placing that unit onto a mock-up of our land shape as well, which is this kind of weird triangle thing that you're looking at right now. So if you haven't seen any of our other Kubo videos up until this point, we initially started off with a, a very simple square design which we thought was going to be big enough for us and our family and our needs. And as the months went on with the talks with the architects, we slowly realized that it was feeling a bit boxy and a bit too small. So this meeting that we're having right now was actually the very first time we'd seen their presentation of the final draft. And I can say I was very happy with how it looked. Yeah, it's amazing. It really is exactly what we wanted, the size and how it looks when you walk in. And it's just, really really beautiful and exactly what we wanted from the beginning. When we compare the feeling that we got doing the 3D walkthrough in this draft versus some of the earlier times that we had meetings with the team it felt much less boxed in, much more spacious and for us as a family thinking about more of a forever home or somewhere we we're going to keep permanently we wanted a bit more space and it's not exactly a massive house 110 square meters is still quite modest but the way we've designed it is to have one side of the house pretty much open plan with a mezzanine as you can see where that staircase leads to and the right hand side of the house or the other side will be where the bedrooms go 
and we eventually did work out how to fit more bedrooms in so that when we have guests we can do that and keep the beautiful mezzanine idea which was a must for our daughter story who when she originally went to the showroom saw the staircase with the cubby holes in it and fell in love with that <laughs> so we said it's a non-negotiable we have to have the mezzanine in it and some of the previous drafts just didn't have it and where we were sitting inside this actual house we could compare it to what it might feel like to actually walk up there and go inside that mezzanine space not big enough for an actual room but a cozy nook it is big enough to sit down up there and to have it as a kind of chill out space um, a reading nook, the piano could go up there, stories some of her toys, it could be used as a sleeping area for guests and it just adds that extra space. So now you can see one of the bedrooms, the architect is just kind of giving us a little bit of a bird's eye view of the master bedroom and you can see how they've incorporated the shelving and the units into the final build. So if you basically go with the Kubo experience, they will design everything so that when the house is delivered to your plot of land and put up and erected, everything's there. That's the tap fittings, the faucets, the doors, the wiring, the beds, you know, the window frames, absolutely everything that you discuss will be provided at the end. Uh, there may be some additional upgrades you can pay extra for, but ultimately the point of the Kubo Modular experience is that when you get to the end of it, you've got a house, a turnkey, experience you walk in open the door and you can live in it yeah maybe some light decoration is required to yeah. personalize which is exactly what we wanted we've kind of saw this from the beginning kubo as a kind of all-in-one package you want a house they deliver you a house that you can walk in from day one and live in it and we've explained in a few videos before the materials that they use are very sustainable it's bamboo that's grown here in the philippines every four years versus other trees which may take 40 years plus to grow so we can see that it's good for the country it's good for like future development to be using a material like this that can be sustainable and also they prepare these woods in a different way to stop them from being bored by wood boring insects like termites they use special membranes in the walls to make it even more insect resistant and also the tensile strength of this material, if you look at the science, is actually stronger than concrete under certain pressures. So it should be this final design we had done, typhoon resistant to as high as you can possibly guarantee, but nothing is ever gonna be fully typhoon proof. The rest can be catered for by where you position your house on its land. We are very happy with what they've shown us at this point it is starting to look and feel like it could be a very nice home space for us. It was very interesting to see our new house idea plotted out onto our actual land plan and talk through the different types of materials that they now use. The Kubo company has evolved since we very first went there. You can see that when you go on their website, they have a whole new way of buying houses, which I think is very cool. And it was good to see a little bit more of the inner workings of our possible home, like how the insulation would fit, the type of membranes they use in the walls, just kind of construction stuff that we didn't know before. And this is the kind of finishings that you can have on the outside of the house. This is the stone coating, comes in some different colours. So you can choose your colour scheme to match your surroundings or to match your house, match your, the rest of your house. It was really interesting to see and again this was something that they didn't offer when we first started our communication with Kubo. It's nice to actually be able to touch it as well because it gives you an idea of like what the final finish of your house is going to be and when they showed us then the website again we had a new understanding of how these things might look in real life under different lighting and stuff and it is very interesting the new concept of Kubo because we saw that they now possibly offer a kit build house that you don't actually have to have built when it comes on site. They make it like so that it fits on the back of a truck and then they just drive it to your plot and drop it down. The, the entire house. The entire house. <laughs> it's really <Yeah>. cool. <laughs> to be fair, their new model idea was very small, like only 18 square meters in total, but you can stack them together as many yeah. as you want. And then again, on the website, you can see how much it's gonna cost you. 
So if you're interested in doing any kind of research into this way of building, have a look at their new website builder and see how much you can have a house built for now. As it stands, the very cheapest model they offer, very basic model with nothing in it, is about 699,000 pesos. But obviously by the time you finish the project, it's been delivered and you've added all your upgrades, it's gonna be over a million for sure. We spent probably an extra 30 minutes just talking through how the latest models will be using technology that they've been researching over the last few years and how it would apply to our final house as well. We just went and had a little roam around the Kubo suite, the Sarangani suite, just to get a feel of how it felt and touch things, <laughs> look at the materials up close. I really, really love the fact that you can see the bamboo inside the wood. Like you can see that it's made of bamboo. It's really pretty. You can see all the grains. The finish was really good, wasn't it? It was, yeah. Very, very nice. Way better than the stuff that you see locally here in Shargao, at least. We don't have much wood here. It's coca lumber or anything. And to be able to like touch the light switches, turn them on and off and just feel how high end it feels like feels high quality and to know that these things come with the house so when we walk in and turn that key in the door we're going to go in there you can get into the bed and turn on turn off the lights all the electrics are done all the plumbing is done yeah. and as you can probably see the reason that we wanted to go down the custom build route is because this would be absolutely amazing for a airbnb say or a holiday home or a weekend house but for actual permanent living, you quickly realise that there's no space for a wardrobe or where would you put all your clothes or where would Story put all of her toys and things like that. It, so we just wanted a bit more space. Yeah, and this currently at that stage was the biggest model that they offer. So we already originally planned to have at least two of these popped together because otherwise headroom, I'm not a tall guy, but it wasn't really enough for us and the bedrooms themselves would be like this right yeah so you've got one big bedroom downstairs but everyone else including our daughter would be just sleeping in a loft space and we said if we were just a couple you know we didn't have any kids no pets or whatever again this could have been fine for us as yeah. a starter home yeah i think absolutely it could and i really do like the idea of really being minimal and downsizing as much as you can but when you have a six-year-old you can't really ask them to get rid of everything and but yeah for me and jay I think we could have been happy in a house this size yeah. and like I said if it was a holiday home or somewhere that you didn't spend maybe all of your time it would be perfect. Especially because we work from home as well we know that our office space, our exercise space, our living space and our family space is all in one place. We wanted to do it bigger to begin yeah. with. Not massive like we said but just big enough so it felt comfortable for the three of us with our dog and <laughs> we really wanted to incorporate this staircase design because Story absolutely loves it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why but ever since we went there she's just talked about the staircase and not that she would ever be stuck in the staircase <laughs> or live in the staircase because it would obviously have things in it and we would be using it for storage but it's a novelty it's just yeah i think she just likes the kind of idea of a harry potter under the stairs <laughs> little cove so these little bathrooms here would be perfect for an ensuite and i love the fact that all of the tiling and the shower cubicle the sink base and everything comes with it the basins were a little bit too small upon like checking them, like seeing how it might feel for long term yeah. living. They're not great for like actually washing your face in. <laughs> Hands is fine, but when you want to do a face mask and you've got to get all that clay face mask off, you yeah. need a bit more space to yeah. splash some water around. <laughs> and we've never really been a fan of louvre windows, which we told the team as well. So they kind of avoided putting too many or if any of those into our final design. But again, to be able to stand in this space here and go, okay, this is probably the smallest it would be. It would make a great ensuite. Yes. And we now know what an ensuite bathroom in our final house will look like. This is us walking back out into the living area. That is the dining table. And then the entire kitchen is right there laid out in front of you. Lots of windows and lighting. I really like this bamboo cover that goes over the sink so that it kind of turns it into an additional workspace. Yeah, that's kind of a very tiny home slash van lifey thing, isn't it? Having yeah. a sink like that. 
It's also nice that we can stand in the smaller models because now we can visualize what a guest house might be. If we have a good experience with the build, having our house custom built, we can then get them to make one of their normal units and we already know what it feels like to be in it size-wise. We can visualize it perfectly because we've been there. And it, you can do this yourself as well. If you live in Manila or if you're visiting, you can make an appointment with the team, go and talk to the architect, go and walk into this exact model that we're walking in and out of right now. So you get a feel for what everything is like and yeah. you can actually see the full house. Yeah, and they also have custom doors as well. You can choose the kind of design of the door, the design of the mezzanine. The outside facade can be changed as well. They've been using a lot more steel ribbed on the outside, which I don't particularly like. I think it looks a little bit like a container home, but you can have it completely cladded or they can change the color or put the stone coating on. So being able to then go and discuss all of that with the team and know that it's all gonna be produced in house. Yeah. That was what really impressed me. So how are we gonna do this moving forward with our experience with Kubo Modular? We absolutely love the team. Yeah. We think that they've done a great job designing our house. We're completely happy with it. And we basically said to them, sign off on the design. We like it, we want it. There is a but. When we first started making these house content videos and publishing them, we were pretty much 80% sure that we would have the house this year. As it stands, that's not something that we will be able to do this year. We are still doing a Kube build. That is our dream now. It's something that we've decided, yet yeah, we're not gonna look anywhere else. We want to do this, but it will probably be end of next year yeah. by the time we have it. And that's nothing to do with Kubo, that's nothing to do with their build times or anything like that, that's us. It's our, not procrastination, but it's our timeframes that we've put on ourselves for how much pressure that we wanna put on ourselves to have this house built over other things in our life. And we decided to put the house build itself on hold for a little bit until next year while we do other things on the land like prepare the land do the foundation put up a perimeter fence and do other things on the land first before we commit to the proper build of the actual house for some clarity as well when we first started our custom build the house size was probably around 60 70 square meters and then we upped it to over 100 and therefore the budget went much higher so we now have to secure some extra financing so that we can make sure we can afford to do it the way that we want to do it. And that is gonna take more time. And I don't want the team to rush it just because we've had this self-imposed timeline. So we are going to focus on making sure the land is ready for them completely, the roads, the plot where the house will end up, all of that stuff. We can still get excited about that. But in the meantime, rather than just committing all of our finances to this build, we still want to be able to travel the Philippines. We want to see more of this country. And if we sink everything we have into the build right now, just to get it done before Christmas or something this year, we won't be able to do anything else. Yeah. And we don't think that that's going to be good for us. It's not going to be good for stories. It's not yeah. going to be good for our state of mind. And there's no reason that we need to have it done before Christmas or before the end of this year. It's just something that we said at the beginning and now we're getting, the time is just flying by that we're getting very close to it and we're like, we actually can't do it. Yeah. <laughs> so we are putting the actual house on hold for a little bit. If you are interested in doing your own Kubo build for reference, once you've signed off all of your plans, it takes them around six to 12 months to build the house, depending on the conditions and the complexity of your design. If your idea is very similar to what they currently already make, or you use one of the models that's on their site, it can be done in months, you know, maybe like two to three months, the house will be on your land. But because we went full custom and we ended up like just changing everything, every single week we were saying, can you add this? Can you make this bigger? That's why it took longer. And it's, we didn't know what was going to happen. This was very, all very new for us, this whole, situation we've never bought a house before at all and especially a self-build this is something that is all very new territory to us having land and building on it and all the things that you need to do to get a land ready to actually live on yeah so it's been a learning for us we're doing lots of different things to try and get it all together but it's just not going to happen this year so moving forward content wise, in the vlogs about building, we will still show things that we're having done, like having 
deep wells dug so we can have a water supply, having the perimeter walls done, having some other building companies come in to prepare the land, some heavy machinery come and <laughs> do some leveling and all that kind of stuff is still going to happen. And we're going to be vlogging it because it's part of our story. But don't expect the house to be like built just like that <laughs> and we'd be on it like some other people that we've seen they start a project they have it done so quickly yeah. and I feel like for us it's just too much of a rush and there's no reason for it to be rushed. Yeah. Before we finish the video I want to do a little shout out for one of my members Jay Paulino. Thank you so much for becoming a member and if you want to become a member yourself check out the join button which is under the video. Thanks Poppy. That was nice. <laughs> she comes in useful. <laughs> that is it from us today. Hope you enjoyed this vlog and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.